Have you ever wondered how to price your work competitively yet? Be sure you have all the bases covered so that your overhead and salary is covered very well every time you perform the services that you provide. Well, if so, hang out for a minute. I can shed some light on that for you. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Scott Heimler, and I'm the creator of Successful Small Service Contracting, where I show you how to control your income, your schedule, and your future in your own single operator service or contracting business while keeping your overhead costs low and your income high. I've operated my own successful service company for over 30 years, and I've taught hundreds of people how to be successful in their businesses since 1999. In today's video, we'll start with building your billable hourly rate. By the end of this video, you will see how it all comes together and it will help you to see the whole process. So be sure to watch the whole thing for best results. Don't confuse the billable hourly rate with working by the hour. These two are vastly different. When working by the hour, you go broke quickly. You can't maintain all the costs associated with running a business this way. There's just too many costs. Working by the billable hourly rate, you're able to price your work competitively Yet, be sure you have all the uh, bases covered so you are sure your overhead and salary is covered very well every time you perform the services that you provide. In Module 3 of my course, so my full course, I talk about determining your own personal time and money goals that suit your lifestyle. These goals and the associated numbers that go with them are a very important ingredient in you building your billable hourly rate. So, we don't have time to go into that in this video, so I'm going to show you a mock-up, okay? This is a whole, that's a whole other video, but you'll be, still get a ton of value from this, I promise, okay? The next step after personal and time goals is to create your chart of accounts. Working by the billable hourly rate, you're able to price your work competitively, yet be sure you have all the bases covered to be sure your overhead and salary is covered very well every time you perform the services that you provide. In module three of my full course, I talk about determining your own personal time and money goals to suit your lifestyle. And these goals are, and the associated numbers that go with them are a very important ingredient in building your billable hourly rate. So we don't have time for that today. That's a whole nother video. So I'm gonna show you a mock-up today. You're still gonna get a ton of value out of this regardless. The next step after personal time goals is to create your chart of accounts. If you aren't familiar with a chart of accounts, it lists every cost of doing business in your business. It is specific to your particular uh, entity. Many budding entrepreneurs start their business and they think that they will just work by the hour or base their pricing on what Joe competitor charges. Man, that's a bad move, let me tell you. In today's economy, you cannot charge enough by the hour to cover all of your costs. And, and, and if you could, no one would hire you. It, it would just, they would just think you're a crook. I, they don't have the business knowledge to know that what it costs to run a business today. As far as copying Joe competitor's pricing structure, let me ask you this. How do you know if he or she is profitable? Well, you don't. He could be barely keeping his doors open and just hanging on. Every cost associated with keeping the doors open and your business running and your salary paid is what the billable hourly rate will do for you. Here's an example of a chart of accounts for my full course. I go into great detail uh, to create the chart of accounts for my course, but again, with this, that's a whole other video, and I don't have enough time to do it here. So let's use this fictitious landscape company chart called Daryl Jennings Landscaping. The actual list of business costs is extensive, and your actual list will account for every cost of operating your own particular business. All these numbers add up, and you now have the sample break-even dollar figure for weeks, months, and year for this fictitious business. By the way, question of the day. Can you tell us what business you're in or what business you would like to start and what town you're in? Leave the, your answer in the comments. It would be fun to uh, see what everyone's doing. All right, back to chart of accounts. The costs on your chart of accounts are what your billable hourly rate has to cover to keep you in business with the doors open. Again, Daryl's annual 
total break in even number in the example is $177,953. Now, let's find the total number of working hours in your year. And again, this comes from the goals uh, section, okay? As an example, Daryl will have a, a total of four weeks off for vacation and personal days. It breaks down to three one week long vacations and five three day weekends. Remember to only count working weekdays, no weekend days. With my system, you should never have to work weekends unless, of course, you choose to. From here, subtract all the vacation time from your work time and all of your calculations from now forward will be based on 48 of 52 working weeks in a year. Your actual numbers and your time on and off work is going to be different depending on your personal choices and the cost of doing business in your area. With my system, you are a complete control of your time and money. And this is a beautiful thing. Now, let's determine Daryl's billable hourly rate. You're going to take the total annual break-even of $177,953 and divide it by your billable hours per week. So, how do you determine that? Well, first, remember this. The service and repair industry as a whole is very inefficient naturally because you go to the client to do your work and can only bill for the time that you're actually in their home or office doing the repairs. So you can only be so efficient. There are so many things that go into being prepared to do service for your clients. Many things that the clients do not see or even think to put in the equation when they call for a service person to come to their home, home and office. And it isn't their problem necessarily, and most likely they don't want to hear about it, but they don't really care. They just want their toilet fixed or their lawn cut or their house clean, whatever service that you're performing for them. But it affects you greatly, and we need to talk about it here. You have to take the phone call, drive to the call, perform the repair, shop for the material, uh, stock your truck, get gas or diesel, go to the bank, see your accountant, and this is the short list. It goes on and on. These are all things that your clients will have to pay your time for in order for you to stay in business, but they don't even consider it. Your clients individually all participate in paying for your overhead and profit over time, period. Don't ever forget that, okay? Are you starting to see why working by the hour is a dead end? That said, a well-organized contractpreneur will be about 50% efficient. Back to the part where you have to go to the client's home or office to make that makes you naturally inefficient, well, this is where it's at. Just take that to the bank, 50% efficient. Make a deposit, that's the way it is. Since you are 50% efficient and the average contract per new week is 50 hours a week, you know, all in, you have approximately 25 billable hours a week. Multiply that by 48 working weeks. That's 52 weeks in a year, right? minus vacation time and personal days equals 48 weeks times 25 billable hours a week equals 1,200 working hours per year. So the equation in our example would look something like this. 177,953 annual break-in total. Again, this represents all the costs of keeping this fictitious landscape business open divided by 1,200 annual working hours per year total. This equals $147.66 per billable hour. And you're going to round that up to uh, $150. So there we go. We've now determined Daryl's break-even billable hourly rate. This is the amount Daryl's new landscape business needs to charge per billable hour to keep his doors open, his bills, and salary paid. Crazy, right? Well, I'm not done yet. It's worth saying here, you know, this will all make sense soon. Just take a deep breath and have faith in me, okay? What have we forgotten? Oh, yeah, profit. You need profit to build new trucks, replace tools, and upgrade computers and such. Profit will provide the dollars to purchase those items in the future. Figure, figure your profit about 20%. You want to figure the equation for profit like this. Take your billable hour, $150, divided by... Uh, 80% or 0 0.80. That equals $187 per billable hour. And you're going to round this number up to $190 per billable hour. This is the total dollars in billable hourly labor when you're at your client's home or office performing the repairs or service that's, 
services that you would need to generate on an annual basis or 1,200 hours per year to operate your fictitious landscaping company and collect a salary of $100,000. Now you're gonna adjust your real numbers up or down to fit your needs and lifestyle. The numbers that you come up with for your personal chart of accounts on your business are private because it's hard for non-business people to understand the cost of doing business a day. Costs are through the roof, as you can tell, every time you go get groceries or gas. You would only discuss this number with your accountant generally. You then take your new billable hourly rate and use my job coding program, Choices Menu Pricing, and add your material and labor to quote your jobs, giving your cl clients four choices in the level and cost of the work that they want done. You are going to smoke your competition. As a side note on contractor salary, there are many benefits and tax deductions that make your salary greater than it you know, appears to be, and it's all legal. You have to know what they are to claim them or use them, and I'm developing a video on that soon. Hey, thanks for being here today. I really appreciate it. If you've got uh, some help out of this video, please click the like button and subscribe and hit the uh, uh, ring the bell, please. And uh, let me know how I can help you in any way I can. I'm always glad to do that. You take care.